Teresa Lidzel's lifestyle didn't have to change much when the pandemic hit. I've been in lockdown for 32 years, so it's not, it hasn't changed. Everything is always my daughter. My husband and I have looked after her from day one. But this mom of a daughter with disabilities found herself suddenly cut off when a health crisis put Jessica into hospital. Unbelievably stressful. Like, I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. It was, I was beside myself. Until a spot opened at St. Vincent where Teresa was thrilled to learn a new program. Designated care partner. Would ensure residents and caregivers would not be separated. But to be given that opportunity to look after our daughter was life-changing and for her too. One of a number of changes to help maintain quality of life for residents and peace of mind for families. But make no mistake, the early days of the pandemic were tough. Over at Briere, long-term resident Lorraine Fortier suddenly found herself stuck inside. And what do people call you when they see you outside? Oh, the sunshine girl. This has long been her spot. So I really, really missed going up tonight. And I missed everybody. But here, he did an excellent, excellent job of keeping it under control. On the day we met, rain kept us inside. Now I wish we were outside today. Oh, that's fine. But Forte says now that's the only thing that does. I just love the, the fresh air. I feel very, very healthy. I sleep well at night. Briere has learned to adapt. In the first wave, we were all stressed and worried because we didn't have enough PPE, protective, uh, personal protective equipment. And then in the second wave, it was all about staffing. Virtual has given way to real visits. Residents are vaccinated, kept safe through innovation. It's kind of a permanent change in the entrance and all that staff need to do, and we've, I think we were probably one of the first ones as well, we reverted to an electronic uh, screening tool. A very visual reminder, this is a different time. The president and CEO thrilled with the way his team has stepped up to the challenge. That designated care partner program? And uh, I believe we have about 900 volunteers in total, and most of them wanted to kind of come in. So it gave us an opportunity to properly coach them and train them. And while not technically a relief valve for hospitals, care was expanded. So we ended up adding just under 200 beds practically overnight. But Briere's role during this pandemic went well beyond caring for its own. A vaccination clinic originally planned for patients and staff expanded to the neighborhood and then to other high-risk groups. Everyone together felt that it was very important for us um, as an organization to uh, be involved in that massive um, undertaking from the, uh, the city of vaccinating um, the community members. The clinic broke down barriers with help from community partners offering vaccination services and information in 10 different languages. By the end of July, over 10,000 were vaccinated. People, after they got the shot, were ecstatic, right? They had their moment and they had to document their moment. And exactly. this, was, this was the spot to do it right and here behind you. Exactly. <laughs> That's a lot of smiles. For Teresa back at St. Vincent, it's not about one big moment of celebration, but lots of calm ones. If she's smiling and happy and I don't see the, the furrowed brow and I see softness in her eye and I see a smile and if she's watching her show, she is content. That's all I can ask for. Knowing she's where she needs to be and so is her daughter. Now that I have this place for my daughter, this is her home. They love her. That's, that's gold, you know. So yeah, it's a pretty special place. Patricia Bowl, CTV News.